Hi, this is Chad Adams from Skeleton Key, and this is our fifth video in our series on number functions. The first function we're going to talk about is the round function. If we take a calculation like 1 divided by 3, you'll see that we get 0.333333. You can take this number and use the round function to set a precision by which you want to round. For example, if we do round 1 divided by 3, and we give it a precision of 4, then that will give us four decimal places here. If we uh, change this to 2 divided by 3, then you'll see the rounding take place and then it'll take the last digit and round it up since our last digit is above 5. The next function we're going to look at is called the set precision function. And I think sometimes people get this function confused with what it's supposed to be doing. Um, some people try to take something like we did before on the round, 1 divided by 3, and they may try to set a precision of, say, 2, and expect that to give them two decimal places. And the set precision function actually only works with the precision of 16 through 400, and it's really designed for um, doing math and doing calculations on a much more precise um, number. So, for example, um, FileMaker takes 1 divided by 3, and it truncates it for us here after so many digits. But if we were to take this set precision function and give us 1 divided by 3 and say that I wanted 50 is my precision, then the, it takes it all the way up to 50 digits for me. So we can get a much more accurate uh, result. The last function we're going to look at today is the truncate function. The truncate function is similar to the rounding function, only instead of rounding, it just truncates. So for example, if we do 1.3 and I give precision 4, it'll look like the round function at this point and then we get four digits, but then if I do 2 divided by 3, you'll see the difference in that it just truncates the last item instead of rounding it up. If you've enjoyed our series on number functions, as always, if you have questions, please don't hesitate to email me at chad.adams.skeletonkey.com.